Good evening students. Welcome back to the lecture series on plant physiology. In this lecture of oxygen transport part 2, we will be discussing about the detailed mechanism of polar oxygen transport. Now the polar oxygen transport is explained with the help of a model called as chemiosmotic model. This model has certain points and a main figure to discuss about. The figure would be coming in the end and you can expect one direct question in CSR examination. According to this model, oxygen influx that when oxygen will be entering from a particular point A to a point B inside the cell, from outside a cell to inside a cell. So this model has validated that the rate of oxygen influx is dependent upon two factor, delta E and delta pH, right? So it is dependent upon two factors, the delta E and delta pH. That is, what is delta E? What is the difference in membrane potential between those two points and what is the difference in pH value between those two points and these combined together, delta E and delta pH, they are combined together called as what? PMF which stands for proton motive force. Now the figure over here also indicates that when oxygen enters or tries to enter from point A to point B inside a cell, this is called as oxygen influx and the rate of entry from point A to point B will be dependent upon what is the difference in the membrane potential between the two points and what is the difference in the pH between point A and point B. Now the point number 2 of this model says that what about when oxygen wants to come out of a cell that is oxygen efflux. This model says that oxygen efflux let's say coming out from point B to point C is dependent upon what is the difference in membrane potential between two points and pH has no role on that. So oxygen entry was dependent upon delta E plus delta pH and the oxygen efflux is dependent upon delta E only. Now I will be splitting these two parts separately what are the protein responsible or what is the route of entry of oxygen entry or oxygen influx and how oxygen exits from a cell that is oxygen efflux then we will be coming on to final figure this model says that oxygen entry or oxygen influx can happen in two form one of the form of oxygen is called as IAAH. Why I have written IAH? Because IAA or indole 3 acetic acid is the most abundant oxygen in plant system and its transport will be discussed in entire chapter. So IAH is called as protonated form. This protonated form is lipophilic that is lipid soluble. So it can easily move and diffuse into the plasma membrane of a cell and pass from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration. This is called a simple diffusion. So IAH has no problem. Whenever it wants to enter from one side of a cell to another side and if there is high concentration to low concentration, that is along concentration gradient, it can use simple diffusion. The problem is with another form called as IAA negative. The IAA negative is deprotonated form. Deprotonated form cannot enter via simple diffusion it will have to use some another strategy that strategy is called as secondary active transport and we will understand that IA negative will be transported from low concentration to high concentration and ATP will be used in that but that ATP is not directly supplied by cell that ATP is coming when two proton move from one side to another high to low which is called as secondary active transport will be clear by the figure primary active transport in cell biology what does it mean koi bhi cheese from low concentration to high concentration by directly giving ATP but Secondary active transport means two things are transported simultaneously that is a type of co-transport one moving from high to low concentration and the energy which will be released will be provided to another molecule from moving from low to high concentration that is called a secondary active transport that secondary active transport since they are moving in same direction we will also understand symporter. 2H plus and IA negative symporter. What are the example of those two protein? Ox1 and Lax3 protein you will have to remember. So a Ox1 hai or a Lax3 protein hai which are examples of what? 2H plus IA symporter. Now coming on to the next concept oxygen efflux. How can oxygen or IA come out of a cell? That can be mediated by two type of protein. One is called as pin protein. Other is called as PGP protein. Pin protein and PGP protein both of them are integral membrane protein that is they are embedded in the membrane plasma membrane of the plant cells. 
pin protein are more concentrated on basal end of the cell what is the meaning of basal end pin proteins ka localization is more on base of every cell not on the apical side but on the base of each cell you can look at this particular figure what i have shown is this the black dot is for pin protein so pin protein are more on the base of a cell right not on the apex while another protein called as pgp they are present everywhere base and apex sideways also this is called as the uh, uh, non uniform distribution or non polar distribution abhi hum dekhte hain so pin proteins are what integral membrane protein they are more concentrated on base of each cell and in arabidopsis species which is a A, a developmental organism in plant physiology like drosophila for animal system uh, arabidopsis for plant physiology there are eight pin protein that have been known till now that is pin 1 to pin 8 now pgp or p glycoprotein if we talk about they are atp dependent they are also integral membrane they are distributed uniformly right so uniformly on on side that is called as non polar distribution why pin protein distribution was called as polar this is an important word i have told you Uh, unidirectional transport polar transport so if uni uh, directional distribution that is called as polar distribution over here what we have they are distributed on all sides of a cell this is called as what non polar distribution they are also known as abcb or atp binding cassettes sub family b as the name indicate they are atp dependent right now we are coming on to the final model to finish off this particular thing and question will be directly coming from that model so we are now compiling this entire information into one single figure you will understand everything from here so now comes the figure for chemiosmotic model So if we talk about this uh, chemiosmotic model, let us uh, first understand a very brief uh, concept that what are we about to show over here. First of all, I hope everybody understands that in plant system, the outermost boundary is the cell wall the inner boundary is plasma membrane and the space between that is called as apoplast right now this apoplast has a ph of somewhere in the range of 5 ph kitna hai apoplast ka 5 the uh, cytosol of every cell cytosol of every cell is maintained at ph 7 the cytosol of every plant cell is near into or maintained at approximately ph 7 you will understand what what is the main reason why the cytosol is maintained at ph 7 and apoplast is maintained at ph 5 right we will be understanding the main reasons for that now uh, as i have previously told you that uh, the pin protein are more concentrated on base of the cell and they are mainly responsible for oxygen efflux so we will be showing the pin proteins only on the base of the cell a pgp since they are not playing so much important role in efflux they will not be shown here so let's say what we have over here is these are the pin proteins that we have distributed over here so base of every cell what we are showing is the pin protein so on base of the each cell we are showing the pin protein so this particular uh, blue circle over here this indicates the pin protein pin proteins right so these protein on the basal end of each cell they are what the pin protein represented over here now the next thing that we have in this case that uh, whenever the oxygen that will be coming out or effluxing a particular cell the oxygen that will be coming out will always be ia negative you will soon be understanding the reason for that why every time ia negative will be coming out of a particular cell now uh, let me tell you a very important thing over here i will now be telling you what is the reason why apoplast is ph5 and this uh, plasma membrane or the cytosol is ph7 the main reason is the uh, plasma membrane of every cell the plasma membrane of every cell has uh, a very important protein which is present almost on every side so is a very important protein and that important protein is known as the plasma membrane h plus atps so that protein is known by the name of what plasma membrane h plus atps and what's this atps is capable of 
This plasma membrane H plus ATPase, what it does, it keeps on throwing the H plus ion from inside to outside and by using the ATP, by using the ATP molecules such that H plus uh, molecules ka, uh, uh, over here H plus molecules they are low concentration and H plus in the epoplast is high concentration. I hope everybody understand. This plasma membrane H plus ATPase has one responsibility that it will continue to throw out the proton from low concentration inside the cytosol to high concentration in the epoplast and therefore epoplast ka high H plus or low pH is maintained because every cell has a plasma membrane H plus ATPase. If this is not there, the epoplast will not be maintained at pH 5. I hope you understand. Higher H plus concentration, lower pH. So that means high H plus is accumulating out because there are many H plus ATPs. Now let me tell you one thing. That means epoplast has high H plus concentration. Right, high H plus concentration. Now, the question is, as soon as IA negative comes out of a cell, this an area or environment is called as epoplast. This epoplast is having very high H plus concentration. So let's say majority or let's say 99% of this IA negative will be converted into what? IAH. Protonate ho jayega. Bhai, IA negative comes out from cell, enter into epoplast. But epoplast is having extremely high H plus. As a result of which it will be converted into what? IAH. 99% conversion let's say and remaining will 1% will still remain in the form of what? IA negative. Now both these form. IA negative and IAH both of them want to enter into the next cell because transport has to continue. I told you that the IAH over here this particular thing can show simple diffusion right it will enter into the cell through simple diffusion this is called as the simple diffusion what is simple diffusion because IAH is lipophilic in nature right so IAH will move and it will enter into the cell like this IAH will enter into the cell like this and it will enter via the process of what simple diffusion so this particular procedure is known as what the simple diffusion as I've already told you right so this is called as what simple diffusion now IAH as soon as it enters into the cell right the uh, Plasma membrane H plus ATPase, they extract the proton out of them because they are wanting to throw the proton outside. So they will always take the H plus and that's why IAH will always be converted into IA negative. That's why I told you that whenever oxygen are seen coming out of a cell, always which form is seen? IA negative. Because as soon as IAH moves from, because IAH is having high concentration over here high concentration over here and it is having low concentration over here so it is moving from high concentration to low concentration along the concentration gradient and no energy is required for that so IAH as soon as it enter from high to low via simple diffusion IAH ka proton will be taken because yaha ka jo environment hai, that pH is pH 7 right pH 7 means low H plus that environment demands proton if anybody is carrying the proton because it has low H plus concentration. So as soon as IAH enters inside this particular system protons taken by H plus ATPase and thrown out this will be again converted into what? IA negative. That means IA negative inside a cell will always have more concentration and outside a cell it will be what? Less concentration. I hope everybody agrees to that. Because IAH, as soon as they are entering, everybody's proton, 99% proton taken and therefore cytosol is full of what? IA negative. Now, as soon as IA negative is generated, which is more concentration over here. Now, the problem is, we will now be seeing that this particular thing has now entered into a cell. Right. So, we have to mention a new protein over here. This protein shown in triangle is your 2H plus IA negative symporter. So this protein which is shown over here is your 2H plus IA negative symporter. And now what will happen? Two protons from outside because proton are having high concentration over here. So 2H plus will move from high to low concentration and then one IA negative will be allowed to enter inside a cell. I hope everybody understands that. So IA negative ka jo entry hai 
that is being used up with the help of secondary active transport i hope everybody understand when two proton move from high concentration to low concentration some energy will be released which is sufficient to take one ia negative molecule from low concentration to the high concentration side and this is called as what the polar oxygen transport now i am listing down for you that what all we have seen till now we will be mentioning this step what are the most important thing that we can see so uh, epoplast ph equal to 5 because of plasma membrane h plus atps because of plasma membrane h plus atps so epoplast ka ph 5 kyun hai because of the plasma membrane h plus atps what is the second thing that we need to understand oxygen influx ki agar hum baat kare सो ऑक्सीजन इन्फ्लक्स किस तरीके से होता है फॉर आई ए एच इट हैपन्स वाई अ सिंपल डिफ्यूजन फॉर आई एच इट हैपन्स वाई अ सिंपल डिफ्यूजन एंड फॉर आई ए नेगेटिव इट इज हैपनिंग वाई अ सेकेंडरी एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट आई होप एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर केस एंड थर्ड थिंग ऑक्सीजन एफ्लक्स ऑलवेज इन विच फॉर्म ऑक्सीजन एफ्लक्स ऑलवेज इन विच फॉर्म आई ए नेगेटिव लेट मी टेल यू टू इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ समी आस्क यू दैट एपोप्लास्ट इज डोमिनेटेड बाई विच फॉर्म ऑफ आई ए देन द आंसर विल बी वॉट द आई ए एच राइट बिकॉज हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ आई एच द एपोप्लास्ट इज वॉट अ प्रोटोनेटेड एनवायरमेंट एंड देर फोर मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन प्रेजेंट इन एपोप्लास्ट विल बी वॉट आई ए एच कमिंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द मोस्ट डोमिनेंट फॉर्म इन दी साइटोसोल ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर सेल वॉट विल बी द आंसर फॉर दैट इट्स आई ए नेगेटिव आई ए नेगेटिव विल बी द मोस्ट डोमिनेंट फॉर्म इन साइड द साइटोसोल सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द केमी ऑस्मोटिक मॉडल एंड आई होप एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन एच प्लस ए टी पी एस विच इज प्लेइंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल सो वंस अगेन आई एम कंपाइलिंग दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन थ्री प्रोटीन प्ले अ वेरी क्रूशल रोल पिन प्रोटीन एट बेस ऑफ सेल फॉर एफ्लक्स plasma membrane h plus atp is for maintaining the ph difference between epoplast and cytosol and 2h plus ia negative symporter why the word symporter because 2h plus and ia both are entering in the same direction same meaning same direction porter same porter and anti porter would have been if they were moving in against direction opposite direction so that's all for the chemi osmotic model and we will soon be understanding the role of pin protein and pgp in transport and homeostasis what eight pin protein i mentioned in arabidopsis what each of them can do whatever research has told us right so that's all for today thank you for your patience and good evening